probably noticed things flying off. That is a symbol of passion. <laughs> and often I have been told, let me declare it here on TEDx, that you are so passionate you don't even realize things are flying off on stage. So, and I'm sure all of you, some of you might be excited to see my performances after this. So, but uh, we know the theme, pain to power, and I actually have some points about passion that I want to make. So if we can skip forward in the slideshow. So now you're gonna get to see some <laughs> colorful pictures. So it turns out that the word passion has its root in the Latin word passio. Passio refers to the sacrificial suffering of martyrs who were so passionately following their beliefs the believers that even when they were prosecuted by the ruling emperors, they were willing to endure or to suffer the torture and face the consequences, even to the extent of losing their lives. So that is how the word passion came about. And let me tell you that even the word passion has another root word in the word pati. So, <laughs> Some of you are already laughing because, okay, so does passion or suffering have anything to do with <laughs> pati? <laughs> but it turns out that all three do have a common root in Sanskrit, so I'm not going to ask you to raise your hand and tell me if that's you <laughs> or not. But anyhow, so that's me, you know, at various tombs, heritage locations in India, at coveted festivals, and uh, it's always quite bright and colorful as you can see. So I want to ask you, do you have such a burning desire or passion in you for something? A conviction or what is called as grit to take up challenging tasks even in the face of adversities. Do you have that grit? Because when you have grit and passion and perseverance, you are willing to set goals and follow through. And that is despite of the challenges that are in front of you, which shows the true strength of your character. So that is a passion we are talking about here. Those are the angle ways that you can get <laughs> to see how that feels. So let me take you now into a few things about passion. Five elements, and we'll eventually get to that slide here. The first one is that it starts when somebody or something inspires you to do something or to change something about reality. Someone may inspire you to do something or tell you to do something. I was inspired when I watched Bollywood movies and I watched dancers perform. So passion starts with inspiration. And you know, inspiration is like one of these things that it's, it's what you think about all day. When you wake up in the morning, it's what you think about. When you go to sleep at night, it's what you think about. And all, between, all between the day, it's what you're thinking all day. That's how inspiration starts. So now I'm gonna talk about how initiative plays a part. So people with passion are ready to take initiative to do something about their life. Without taking that first step, you're going nowhere, right? It's like sitting in a car and not starting the engine. So passion exists in you. You got to take the initiative, the risks, and that leap of faith. As I talked about, I took the initiative to move from a highly comfortable, highly comfortable life in the corporate sector and come to India, where my future was very uncertain. The third point that I have is that when you feel passionate about something, that gives you focus. We saw how dance requires focus, the training, the skills. And you, you know, passionate people consider that training and mastering their skills is a part of the journey. They're focused to perfecting their training and to enjoying the journey along the way. So I was trained in classical dance under well-known dance maestros also respected as dance gurus. And I spent relentless hours dancing, driving two hours for my dance lessons, 
and performing in cities of painful circumstances and even rehearsing 16 to 17 hours a day. So focus and drive go hand in hand. Oh, looks like I'm sleeping on stage there. But that's just a part of the act. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not napping on, on the stage. But drive is an important element. Because have you seen people that are driven? What drives them? And how do they get there? Yeah, we can keep going ahead. Keep going ahead. So, <laughs> drive is an important element. And when you are driven by your passion, it's like you are motivation in action and you're unstoppable. And you take the initiative, you take inspiration, and you charge ahead with focus. So these are the elements of passion that I wanted to discuss today, coming to my main point, which is pain to power. How does passion help us overcome our pain? So, <clears throat> When you follow your passion, it gives you the power and endurance to overcome our difficulties, turning pain to power, and the strength to get through hard times and setbacks, and the strength to overcome our fears and to ignore what other people think of us, and to set goals and to follow through and make sacrifices in pursuit of our dreams. So you all know of Steve Jobs and his passion to innovate the computer universe with devices such as the iPhone. With these smartphones, now we can stay in touch with our friends worldwide using just our fingertips. Steve Jobs' passion had the power to transform everyone's lives and to change reality. And using these smartphones, that has changed the way that we see, hear, and experience the world. Now tell me one thing. What is your passion? Write it on a piece of paper or a note card and put it in your pocket next to Steve Jobs' passion. And now ask yourself, which one is better? Which one is best? And which one would you dwell on each day, each night, day after day, constantly, the way I dwelled in my passion? Like I said, passion is the first thing you think of when you wake up in the morning. It's the last thing you think of when you go to sleep and it's what you think about all day. And that means that's what drives you, that is what motivates you. So this is a moment. Discover your passion. Passion lies in each one of us. And when you choose something, follow through with it. Because there is an element of pain, ladies and gentlemen, when you push boundaries to constantly become a better version of you. So allow you to experience pain and transform yourself to a higher purpose. You all know that I have broken barriers and if I didn't have the passion, I wouldn't have put in these hours to practice. So passion exists in us. So can we embrace that passion? Can we kiss that passion and bring it alive? Can we drive forward with our passion relentlessly and take that leap of faith like I did, I did, because once you do, there's no turning back. Thank you. <laughs>